Hello everybody, it is Friday. I'm so happy that it's Friday. Tomorrow, if you follow UFC, tomorrow is the Derek Lewis and DC fight. I am so, so, so excited for this fight. I freaking love Derek Lewis. I love him so much, so I'm really, really hoping that he just beats DC. I'm tired of this whole champ champ thing. Anyway, today I'm going to be doing a full face of drugstore makeup. This is all affordable makeup. I feel like all of these products that I'm using I do like. Um, some of them I love, some of them I'm just okay with. So I'm going to be talking more about that in the video. As well as debuting the new Paradise Enchanted L'Oreal eyeshadow palette um, that I have on my eye and I absolutely love. I'm going to be also be using some new drugstore makeup brushes that I actually really really love so you'll get to see that in the video. If you want to know how to get this look then just keep on watching. Alrighty, so first I'm going to prep my skin with the Fresh Rose Deep Hydration Facial Toner. I have really dry skin, so this really helps in moisturizing and hydrating my face. Okay, next I'm going to be priming my face with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Face Primer. This is the Dewy Luminex. This is part of the Photo Focus line, and so I'm just going to be applying it a little bit on my fingers. It, it, it looks slightly tinted, it almost looks gold. It does have some shimmer to it. When I first applied this on my finger, there was a lot of shimmer in the product, so I thought there was gonna be a lot of shimmer on my face. But when I've applied it on my face, there wasn't a lot of shimmer or any kind of specks of glitter that showed up on my face that was popping out. I'm also gonna be applying that same primer to my eyes since I am going to be doing my eyes first. All right, so that's on my eyes. I'm gonna go in with the new L'Oreal Paradise Enchanted Scented Eyeshadow. I went ahead and swatched this as soon as I got it, and I wasn't impressed with the lighter colors, which I think is shades one through three, but as far as the darker colors that are in this palette, these came out super beautiful and blended super nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and be doing a look from this palette. I'm gonna go in with number four. It is a pinky shade. So I'm gonna be using my Sigma. E59 brush. I'm going to apply that all over the lid. And I'm using this shade as a transition shade. Then I'm going to go in with the shade number 9. It's a really pretty matte brown color. And what I like about this palette is that there's not that much kickback in the shades. So I just applied that on the inner corner of my eye and I dragged it all the way across. I don't want to put this color on my lid just yet. And I just want to put this on the outer corner of my eye. Okay, don't worry about this outer corner because I am going to be cleaning that up as we're applying foundation and concealer, so I'm not, don't be too worried about this section right here. Okay, next I'm going to go in with the shade number 11, and I'm going to put that just in the outer V of my eyes so I can kind of deepen my eye and give it more of a dimension. So I'm going to be going in with the brush E44, just slightly dip into that, and just apply it. By the way, so sorry that I keep sniffing, I'm kind of dealing with a little bit of allergies right now, so I apologize if I just keep sniffing and sniffing and sniffing. Next I'm going to be going in with the shade number 12 and I'm going to use my Sigma E58 brush and I am going to wet that and apply that all over the middle part of my lid. Actually I might do the outer portion. Look, it's so, it's so pretty! I think I am going to do my all of my lid. Not so much of my inner corner because I do want to apply a lighter color there to kind of highlight it. But I do love this color. I just want to put it all over this lid. 
scent of the palette doesn't overwhelm me. It's not giving me a headache or anything like that. So um, I do like how this palette is not so overwhelming in the scent. Go back in and clean that up with the number four shade. to go ahead and top the shade just in the middle of my eyelid. I'm going to top that shade with the shade number three with the same wet brush. I'm just going to be using the other side. Alright, so for my inner corner, I'm going to be using, I think, I think I'm going to be using the same shade number three and apply that on my inner corners. So I'm just going to go ahead and work on my bottom lid. So I'm going to go back in with the shade number 8. We weren't using that on our upper corner, but I do want to use this as a base. Alright, and then I am going to go back in with the shade number 9 top that. And I'm going to be going in and using the shade number 6 with my E20 brush from Sigma and just apply that on the inner corners of my eye to add color. ahead and be applying foundation. The foundation that I'm going to be using today is some L'Oreal Infallible Longwear Shaping Stick and I have this shade Shell Beige 404 and this foundation I've only worn it once and when I first applied it it's supposed to be medium to full coverage and I don't feel like even with two applications that it's that medium coverage. I have a lot of texture, I have a lot of blemishes and red spots so um, this foundation I feel like covered it only with about three to four applications. I don't mind the formula at all. I think the formula is fine, especially for the price that it is. So I'm just going to be applying that on my face and I don't need too much. At least for the first layer, I don't like to pack on too much because I like to be able to build it up. going in with a brush that I just got from Walgreens. This was on sale. This is the Lab Live and Breathe Beauty and I love these oval brushes. They're super soft and I think they apply beautiful. So hopefully you can see. So it applies very smooth. It doesn't feel, I don't feel like I'm dragging it across my skin. I don't feel like I'm applying that much pressure to spread the foundation. The only thing is, is that I just feel like with only one application it's very sheer. And I think it was a pack of three and I think it was only $9.99 at the time. So I thought, oh why not? You know, it's on sale. Who doesn't love a good sale and who doesn't always need more brushes anyway? So, okay, so that is one layer. I'm definitely going to be adding on some more. So I'm going to add on at least two more layers I think and then I will come back to do the rest of my face. Okay, so that is three layers right there. Um, again, when I applied it, it, I didn't put that thick of an application, but um, it did for me, for me to like the way that it looked on my skin, I did have to apply three applications, which is fine. I don't, you know, I don't like how it does say that it's supposed to be medium to full coverage, and I feel like it takes a little bit of applications before you can actually get medium to full coverage, but as far as the product and how it looks on my skin, I like the way it looks on my skin. To me, it doesn't look cakey. Um, it doesn't... It doesn't feel sticky at all. It does feel a little bit tacky, but it doesn't feel like if I were to put a blush on or a powder right now that it, it, it would just stick to those areas that it would be blending in right. So now I'm going to be going in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. This is in the shade... 
Ooh, what shade is this? Light Ivory. And I'm gonna go in just on my under eyes. And I don't, I don't like to put any kind of concealer on my forehead because my forehead has a lot of texture so I don't like to go in there um, and add more foundation or any kind of more cream on there because I just feel like it is just it just amplifies the little bumps that I have up there. What I love about these brushes is that they're not streaky. Mm -mm. They're really really not streaky. sorry but my camera battery died um, but I did apply right after the concealer I did apply the setting powder the loose setting powder I did use the airspun loose face powder I love this powder I think it's great for a drugstore powder it doesn't give me any flashbacks from any kind of flash from photos and from videos I, I love the way that this looks um, it doesn't give me that much creasing under my eye so I just wanted to point that out of what my favorite loose face powder is. Okay, so next I'm going to be doing my eyebrows. So another drugstore product that I've been trying out is the e.l.f. Eyebrow Pencil. This is in the shade Burnett. I'm, I'm a fan, but not really a fan of this. I think it is good for filling in small spacing, but I feel like if you have more of a darker brown color for your hair, I don't think that this shade completely would match for your hair. Um, or for at least for your eyebrow color. Um, it, to me, it has more of a reddish tone to it. And it, you know, like I said, it, I don't completely hate it, but I, I just feel like majority of the time that I've tried out drugstore eyebrow fillers or eyebrow pencils, it just, for some reason, it just does not, for some reason I can just pretty much never find, never find my shade. And I don't really know why. working on blush I'm gonna go in with my H cosmetics blushed neutral palette um, so I know this is not a drugstore but um, I did see that you can get BH products from Kohl's I didn't know that before I used to just order these online and I'm gonna be going in with I think let me think this third shade right here for my blush with a highlighter that's been one of my favorites. This is the highlighter from Wet n Wild. It's the Mega Glow, Mega Glow Highlighting Powder. This is in the shade Blossom Glow. I'm using the Milani Rose color. It's number 42 and then also in my middle section, Nude uh, number 26 from the same brand. So I'm gonna go in first with this rose shade. Okay, so I applied this one and then I'm going to go ahead and apply this nude color in the middle of my lips. What I'm actually going to do now before I pop on some eyelashes, I'm actually going to be go ahead and setting my face. I don't like putting on mascara and then the eyelashes and then getting that wet, so I'm going to be doing this first. I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Natural Finish Setting Spray. So I'm going to go ahead and curl my eyelashes just a little bit so they can blend in a lot better with the eyelashes. Alrighty, and then I'm going to be going in with the Voluminous Butterfly Mascara. There's two mascaras that I actually really love from the drugstore, which is the L'Oreal... Actually, I don't know if this is L'Oreal, but the Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara, which I've been using for a while, and then before that one, I was using this butterfly one, and I had switched that one, and I just, got, I just went back to this one, and I love the way these look. I never like spidey-looking eyelashes, so whenever I'm going for a look without fake eyelashes, those two are my favorite mascaras to use.
eyelashes, I'm going to be using the Ardell Foam Ink Wispies. I absolutely love these eyelashes. I've used several before and these have so far been my favorite. Any kind of shape that where the fake eyelashes go more up and out, I just, I love when you can just emphasize your eyelashes or your eyes. I just absolutely love these. I've already used these once and I'm going to go ahead and just reapply them. That's what I love about these as well. I mean really with almost any fake eyelashes that you can just keep reusing them as long as you, you know, wash them and take care of them. So I'm going to go ahead and apply lash glue. That is it for this makeup look. Let me know what y'all think. Please subscribe down below and hit the notification bell so you know when my next video is coming up. Thank you guys for being here. This is my first video, so I'm really excited. I'm gonna be getting better at lighting and just video editing, so just bear with me, and I just appreciate you so much um, if you would like to subscribe and be a part of my family. Again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.